<laughs> this is gonna be funny. Okay. All right, so today we're not at the field. We're not in my shop. Uh, we are at X Hover. That's because um, you didn't want me in your shop. That's true. I kicked John out of my shop. So uh, we're at X Hover today in the middle of a windstorm, which Hesperia is known for. So if you hear rattling in the background, it's just the, the door. So we're here with Matt today, and we've got his uh, Extreme Flight Demonstrator. And Matt saw our video on putting the covering down. I noticed you took some of our tips. It looks pretty good, dude. Uh, but Matt had a question. What, what was your question, Matt? What were you wanting to learn how to do? So I was getting ready to put the cowling on, and every time I put it on, I notice it. Three sides would be perfect, and that fourth side would just be off, uneven, unlevel. So instead of drilling it myself and ruining a cowling, I you figured you'd let me drill it and ruin it for I'd you. Let you guys ruin it. For now me. he has someone to blame. Cool. So, so this is the 64-inch demonstrator. Yeah. So electric. Um, the directions on these tend to be a little vague because they uh, expect you have a little experience. So we figured we'd come down and do a video on how to mount your cowl, get it nice and straight to your motor, and uh, see what we can do. So the first thing I like to do is I start off with some strips of poster board. Uh, I match these to the width of the tabs here, as you can see. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna spin this sideways so you can see what I'm doing here. Go ahead and hold that for me, Matt, so it doesn't slide off the bench. We take a little blue painter's tape, just a little piece, put it on our tab, and we line it up at the front here. This will all make sense in a little bit. And we're going to put four of these tabs on. This is just going to basically locate where this mounting lug is once we have the cowl in place. So we can do that. We'll do all four of these real fast here. Amazing the things you can do with some blue tape and cardboard that's just laying around the shop. Anyways, so there we go. We've got those all on and ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do now that we've got those in is we're going to take our Sharpie and we're going to mark the center of that mounting lug where we want the screw to go through. There we go. Okay, then we're gonna take our cowl, which we have here, and slide it over our motor. We're gonna go between the mounting lug and the poster board, which takes a couple tries sometimes. There we go. Have it on over there? Yep, we're good there. And then it falls off. As with everything, just the important part is taking your time. Getting everything lined up, right? Okay, and pushing our table around. So Matt informed me he's not going to be using a spinner on this, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that if you don't want to use a spinner. We're just going to use our blue tape like we did before. We're going to get everything lined up here. Now some planes, such as this one, aren't going to exactly line up perfectly, but it's going to be pretty darn close. So we'll get that lined up maybe as we come forward. Nope, too far forward doesn't work either. So there we go. We're going to get about centered with our finger here. We're going to tape the top. Now we can always adjust this as we go. We want to get it taped all the way around. So next I'm going to make sure we're looking pretty centered here. We use the bell of the motor to really center it up. I'm going to put a piece here. I'll we'll turn it sideways like this. Go ahead and hold it for me there. Always referring back to the, the bell of the motor to make sure we're centered. Up oh, there we go. There we go. Now let's take a look here. And that is nice and centered. It's a little high on the front. There we go. Perfect. That's where we want it. So now what I like to do is we just take, I have a body reamer here. This is by Duratrax. We'll put links in the description. I'll start on this side since you can see it on the camera. We go right on that dot. So we know we're going into the lug. Hold it, a little bit of pressure there. We put our mark in like that, and now we're through. 
So the way I like to do it is start with one. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring a drill bit, so we've got a diamond cutting bit today. Normally you'd use a 16th inch drill bit for this next step. Now that you've marked it with the body reamer, your bit won't walk. We can actually pull this tab out of the way since we've already used our mark. Put it in there. There we go, right through. Take one of the screws that was included in the kit. And once this is drilled, we can pull this tab off and put it in. The reason I put it in one screw at a time is once that screw's in, it's locked in place. Cowl is not going to move. The tape can move a little bit. And now as we go, we can just keep checking our centering on our motor and make sure it's where we want it to be. I'm right handed, not left handed, but this is working. So if I wanted to use a spinner, uh -huh. would it basically be the same? It would be exactly the same, but you use the back plate of the spinner as to line centering. up your ring. Yeah. So right now I keep checking here and we're looking, looking really good. We're a little low. So since it's a little low, we'll want to pull a little more tension on the top here. Keep it from falling like that but we're still nice and centered. And I usually go top to top and then bottom to bottom. So right now I'm making sure my side to side is where I want it. We're gonna take here, do the exact same thing on the other side. There we go. Pull our tab away now that we've marked it. Put our screw in. Nice thing about having these tabs on is you know, I mean, cause you can't see where it is. You know you're going right in the middle of that mounting lug every time and it's right where you want it to be. There we go. I'm just gonna check our top to bottom, which looks still dead on, still looking good. And do the bottom one over here. This works really well too if you ever have to replace this cowl. I do the same thing, but I put the hole in the um, tab first, Before. screw it in, then tape it in place, then pull the screw out, put the cowl on where you want it, and then drill the hole in the cowl and it'll line up with the screws, perfect. screw holes that are already there. And it's perfect every time. Okay, still looking great. All right, cool. One last one. And then we can do the big reveal and show them how it came out. drop our screw and we pick it up. It's an important step right there. Okay, now we got four screws in. We go ahead and uh, pull the tape, ta the tape that was holding the cowl on all three sides off. Got that there. Take a look here, see if, I don't know if you can see it in that camera there, but it's nice and straight, perfectly lined up. And you have a cowl on your airplane. There you go. Get it all lined up. Okay. The next and probably most important step is take it all back apart. Take your, your uh, th four screws out and you put a one or two drops of thin CA in each hole. And what that does is it hardens the holes and makes it so that with the vibration and with taking the cowl off and on over time, the screws won't, the screw uh, holes won't uh, strip out. It basically locks the threads and it makes it as good as, as uh, almost as good as like having aluminum in there. Now, so. do you only do that once? Yep, you just do that once. The first time, so what you'll do is you'll take this off, you'll put one or two drops in, let it cure for 15, 20 minutes, then put your screws in and you're done. You can do it as you thread it in, uh, just to kind of act as like Loctite for the screws as well. But uh, these screws, these wood screws going into the ply in there generally won't back out. Nice. And by putting the thin CA, it actually, uh, it actually tightens the tolerances a bit and works like Loctite. There we 
we go. We're going off the table. Cool. So there you go. You see all our holes are Perfect. right where they need to be, right in the middle. Johnny, you want to get a shot of this? There you go. All the holes nice and centered in the tabs. Ready to go. Now another thing you can do is, uh, and this is up to you, you can take your Sharpie and color this around the hole. That way when you're putting it on, you can see where it's dark. Oh, you can see because yeah, down. because with the, the color of the balsa wood, it's hard to tell through the cowl where your screw hole is. Mm -hmm. So, and these screws being wood screws will build their own, you know, burrow their own hole. Right. But yeah, so next we just take the thin, thin CA here, tilt it up on its edge like that. Put one, two drops there. One, two there, and then we'll just let that sit for 15, 20 minutes, and it'll be good to go. So there you have it. Was that as stressful as you thought it would be? No, because you did it. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, as we get uh, more ideas, uh, I know you were talking about the hinging. We can do a thing on CA hinging. we got some other ideas here. So. Yeah, that thanks. Would definitely be helpful. Cool. Well, thanks for reaching out with your question, and uh, glad we could help you out with this. Yeah, thanks for all the help. No problem, man. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Matt did, and he learned something new, and we even built part of his airplane for him.